to get clean textures on your characters you need to get uv maps that aren't stretched and aren't filled with just awful seams and all of that stuff you need some proper good quality uv but you probably also just need a simple system to do this that you want to stop being complicated you want to stop banging your head against the floor while you're trying to create your uvs that's why i've created this simple bulletproof system that will help you uv gun wrap any character or any model with just a couple quick tips Let's cop to it right now. The main problem that people are running into is that they don't know where to place their scene. Now we can run through a couple of different tools and I'll run through the exact kind of way that I will pick where to place some seams on my characters. So firstly, you can see, just split my scene and get a UV editor and a 3D. And then if I go select something, go to tab, go to edit mode, you can see this is what I have. So firstly, what I've done is I've basically just used like smart UV projected. I'm just gonna leave it like this and we can kind of work our way through the character. So firstly, I'm just gonna go local view on this just base mesh and we can work through it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna change, I'm gonna click on this little double little arrow right here. Basically what that changes is whatever you select will kind of show up here. And this also helps in terms of being able to actually kind of see what's happening on your mesh and what happens on the left, okay? And it's gonna just help us a little bit here. Now, basically, the kind of methodology behind placing your kind of placing your seams is how you need to lay your model flat. Now, let me show you what I mean. And you'll see right off the bat, this is the messed up UVs. You know, see you smart UV project, uh, and you'll see here. Basically, you'll see whatever corresponds on the left side is going to be over the right side. If I go select this face, you'll see this like little yellow wing with a C2. You can see that's C2 right here. So this kind of is just give you a visual representation of whatever shows up on the left is going to show up on the right. So it's kind of that layout of you are kind of cutting up your mesh and laying it flat. You're doing your best to take it and lay it as fast as possible. You don't have stretching, but you want to obviously, as I said, place the UVs in the correct place. Now, the biggest tip I can say is firstly, Place your seams in a place that doesn't get seen by the viewer or the camera. So you'll see, like a good example for that is basically if you maybe playing a top-down game. So if you're making it for a game, you're playing top-down, this is going to be the view that you have 90% of the time. So what you could do is you could place your seams over here in the front, which is not generally advisable, but because that is going to be the view that's always going to be seen in your character, if you put the seams there, you're never going to see them. But like, say it's going to walk towards you, then maybe that's not a good idea. So the general rule of thumb is usually our, especially for human characters, is placing them on the inside of joints. So um, you'll see kind of placing it along there, because if your arms are down by your side, that's going to be basically just hidden up on the body. And same thing like here for the legs, put it on the inside or maybe so put it like to the walls of the back if it's going to be there. Um, and you'll see that's kind of a good kind of placement because um, the more less like the more hidden the seam is, it's going to be less visible to the viewer and you'll just kind of have less of a problem with it. Now, another thing is basically we want to kind of separate off our model into sections like having big parts. And I think it's what the automatic UV does like this is not very good. And it's kind of just a nightmare to manage having it more sectioned off into different parts and the parts are going to make sense. Like so you have a t-shirt and you have some pants and you have like whatever hat whatever it makes sense to kind of section off those different sections okay so that's what i'll do a lot of the time so maybe you're going to go section off there and so that's something that i'll usually do um, especially if a big like shorts kind of thing like that maybe go you kind of cut off each section maybe like because of there um just because there on that angle you're going to have a very harsh angle so it's a good idea to kind of section that off um so you do the wrist and then same thing so maybe go so calf like do something there um so you see section off the different pieces that kind of make sense like you have the foot separate you have this calf piece separate you have this whole leg thing and obviously these parts are going to be circular so a tube that goes along like this you can just cut down the side and it's going to lay 100 flat so it's a great way of quickly uh, getting sections like that if you can just cut off different tubes and lay them flat it's going to be very useful and very quick to uv unwrap right but i said placing them where it's going to stop the stretching and it's going to like cut those sections how do we do that well there is a very easy tool and also part of it is having a texture like this so let me walk you through exactly how to do those two right so first thing go to your material tab go base color click on this little yellow dot click on image texture new and then you can do whatever and then you can change between so default it's blank you can use uv grid which is basically just going to be like black and white kind of thing or like light gray dark gray whatever and then color grid which is both the one you just saw so uv grid you see here new image and you'll see uh, if i go pop open the untitled 002 it pops open with this so it has all these little colors and you see if i go z material preview you see now it's over there and you'll see this is very useful because basically this is straight lines so you can see it's a lot easier to tell if there's any sort of stretching now, another way of seeing it is if you go over here, scroll across. So if you don't see this bar, 
hover over the top, scroll down, and then you see over here, open, angle, stretch, okay? And you see, basically, the parts that are lighter blue is going to be worse, and the parts that are darker blue are going to be better in terms of stretching. So if I select my whole model, go U, unwrap, you'll see basically this whole bottom bit starts going green and yellow and stuff like that, which means it's super stretched. And you can see right here, this whole leg is completely messed up. So that's what you don't want. And yeah, so that's going to be very useful. So obviously, we're going to start separating off our sections. So I'm just going to go separate off the leg, control E, mark seam. Um, and then maybe we go section off this bottom bit of it, control E, mark seam. Now we go A, U, unwrap. Okay. And now you see we have the body, but this whole leg bit is still super stretched. We still have some super messed up textures uh, because obviously the tube like this can't just lay flat if we don't do anything to it. So what we have to do, we have to go add a seam down the side. So I'm going to go here, select the top one, go all the way to the bottom, hold control, left click. You see, so it selects that whole loop, control E, mark seam. Now we've added that slice down the side of the cylinder. If we select everything, go U, unwrap. You can see that immediately goes and lays flat. And you see that is super nice. Uh, the only thing we have is problems down here. The reason is, is because we have another 90 degree angle. And you see, same thing over here. When we have this 90 degree angle, we have a problem. Now, this bottom side, we can actually fix very quickly. If I go Alt, left click, select this whole loop, go to Edge Select, go Alt, left click, and you'll see, uh, actually Alt, Shift, left click, you see, deselect that whole outer loop, go control E, mark seam, uh, mark seam, select everything, go U, unwrap, and you see here, it goes and lays it out like that. Because we have a sort of thing that going like inwards, like there, you can kind of separate them off and get them to lay opposite way. Now, the only thing you don't want to do this on is if your model is going to go the opposite way. So say I had a seam going like here and had a seam not this way and then had this go all the way down like the calf. So again, if we go to there and then we go section off that whole bottom bit like this, control E, mark seam, go U, unwrap. And you can see here, if we go select this, you'll see if I go here, you see these parts are all overlapping each other, which is not good in terms of you're going to texture paint. You see how if I paint, it's painting on both parts. So it's impossible to actually get a good line when you're texture painting. So that's what you want to be wary of, because you see if I paint here, same thing. So now over this one, it's painting on three different sections of my mesh, which you really don't want. So in this case, move it down, move that part down, mark seam, go undo this mark seam up here. And you see here that because now it opens up on the bottom. So now if I go texture paint, you see everything works fine going around like that. So that's what you want to kind of bear in mind is don't, don't have anything overlapping but don't have some massive uh, stretching. Now, one thing you'd also think about is if it actually matters if it stretches or not, because maybe that part you never actually want to see, and it doesn't actually matter if it stretches. It doesn't matter if the texture get overlaid because basically you just have a gradient on it, or something like that. So also think of if it's actually super necessary to keep that all in mind. So yeah, just use some thought process. <laughs> yeah, so as I said, so let's go. let's go again. Again, so section off the top, maybe go section off the bottom, control E, mark seam. Uh, and then we can go all the way across like this, mark seam, go U, unwrap, okay? And you see here, it's all right, except for this middle bit, which is probably the section right here. And obviously, because this little thing goes like that, um, no one's really going to see in the inside, so it's not going to be the end of all if I just go Control e mark seam, select this whole loop, go Edge Select, Alt, Shift, Left Click, Control e mark seam, and you see here, now we go there, and you see, now we do the exact same thing. So instead of, if I go do this again, instead of looking like this, and I think if we go... But firstly, we just don't have that edge. Control E, mark seam. And you see, so this top bit is all stretched. And in the moment, we just go select this uh, all, get rid of there, mark seam. You see, now that is a lot better. And it also, because these top bits aren't stretching, the bottom bits are also slightly better. Because if these parts have to basically, like, the whole thing of the stretching is because these two have to meet in the middle. So if this has to pull away that part, um, that also ends up moving these bottom bits a little bit. So fixing your like, seams further up can also help with the stretching throughout the whole model. Okay, and there you go. You have successfully UV unwrapped your characters, which is really cool. Now that you've done this, it's time to go make some awesome textures for your characters. So click over here to go watch a video on that right now. See you.